I, I can't believe we're here. I, I mean, game 163, we gotta play the Phillies again. Both squads are 95 and 67. We finished the season on a six game losing streak. We lost, I think, I think it was eight out of our last nine to be in this spot. It's, it's ridiculous. And now we gotta go to Philadelphia. We gotta go to Citizens Bank Park and play these guys. And it's the two best players in baseball going at it. Bryce Harper, Juan Soto. Bryce has been 349, Juan's bang 338. Harper's got, I think, 54 home runs. Soto's got 52. I mean, both these guys are having career years. And the winner of this game is the NL East champion and the number one seed in the NL. And the losers are going to play the wild card game against the Miami Marlins and will be the four seed in the National League playoffs. And also, folks, before we get in the video, go make sure to check out both the vlogs we posted this this week go to the Giants and Rockies games go check both of them out they are in the description down below and also folks make sure to go follow us on the socials Real Plays YT on Instagram and TikTok and then I guess follow us on Twitter too if you want but go follow us on Instagram and if you have not yet make sure that subscribe button down below for some more LMB 22 the show here on the channel we get this game started with Spencer Turnbull striking out Eric Guevara one gone for Mookie Betts Betts going perfect perfect deep center field back on his Elliot Ramos to the warning track that's out of here Mookie Betts gets the scoring started here in the first. It's a solo shot for the former AL MVP, 423 feet here in game 163. His 27th of the season gets the Nats up on top in a must win game. And now Juan Soto comes up on the 2-1, trying to make that case for the MVP. Soto flies one, deep right field. That one, no, is going to be caught by Bryce Harper. Two gone, and here's your Nats lineup for tonight. It will be Guevara, Betts, Soto, Sano, Bellhouse, Pahe, Martin Ruiz. I think Pahe is just better for this one game compared to Lane Thomas. Miguel Sano now comes up on the 3-2, hitting one on the ground. That one's bounced to the second baseman, Eugene Segura. Segura tries to go barehand, can't make the play. So Sano will be on first base with a single. They'll give him the hit for Josh Bell now on the 2-2. Josh in a Right center field, that one's gonna get down as well. Miguel Sano's gonna round second, he'll be at third easy, and at taking second base will be Josh Bell. It is a two out double with runners on second and third for Brady House. On the 2 1 pitch, Turnbull deals. That ball's hit in the deep center field. Ramos going back, and he'll put away Brady House all the way to the warning track. But the Nats get on top first thanks to the Mookie Betts homer. It's 1 0. We go to the bottom of the first. John Means pitching tonight for the Nationals, and he will immediately walk Gene Segura. So Segura will be on first base for Alec Bohm. On the 2-2, Bowman in the right center. Soto going to try to make a play for it in right. He's got it. One for the first out of this inning. To the plate now for the Phillies will be Bryce Harper on the 1-1. One, one, the all-likely MVP takes a 1-1 one, one pitch, and Segura is going to swipe second in the process. So run on second base with one out for the MVP. Bryce Harper on the 1-2. One, Hits one on the ground. Josh Bell going to take himself to first. It will be the second out of the inning as Segura moves to third. With two outs in the inning, a big spot for Kyle Schwarber. The former Nat on the 2-2. Two, two. Hits one to second. Mookie Betts is going to make the play and then that's remain at top one nothing going into the top of the second Andy Pahe batting 400 in the season is going to strike out on that high heat by Turnbull on the fastball one gone now for Austin Martin the reigning rookie of the year hits one up the middle that ball might get through charging is going to be the short stop right there and Javi Baez and Baez will throw out Martin two gone now in the inning for Kiber Ruiz Ruiz can hit a slider into center field Ramos though is back and he has got it the Nets go one two three in the top of the second as we go to the bottom of the second up first for the Phils will be Javi Baez. He's going to get chopped right there on that sweeping curve by Means. Betts to Bell. One gone now in the inning for the center fielder. And Elliot Ramos on the 3-2 pitch. Ramos is going to take ball four on the slider in. He'll be on first now for Bryson Stott. Look how massive he is in this game. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. Ramos is going to take second on the steal. So he'll be on second base for this beast known as Bryson Stott on the 1-2 pitch. Look how massive he is, but Stott's going to strike out on the slider. Two gone for the left fielder, Matt Veerling. 1-1 one, one pitch, balls on the ground. Mookie bets over the first to Josh. The Nats again get another shot at inning as we go to the top third. Eric Guevara going to lead things off. For the Nats, will strike out on the fastball down by Turnbull. One gone in the inning for Mookie Betts, responsible for the only run so far this game, and now he's going to get hit. On a 3-2 pitch, Turnbull's pitch misses inside, so one gone runner. First for Juan Soto, who will be late on the slider. He got, you know, slide stepped right there by Turnbull. It'll be caught in left field by Veerling. Two gone it now in the inning for Miguel Sano. He's one for one in this game, and it's kind of much to ask for two hits out of Sano. He'll grind out to Alec Bohm. 
we go to the bottom of the third, it's still one nothing. Our score. Leading things off for the Phils will be their nine hole spots. The catcher, and he's gonna walk. will be on first base, so it's three innings, three walks for John Means. But now Gene Segura is gonna hit one in the right field. That one's gonna get through. Runners on first and second, no outs for the Phillies. With Alec Bohm coming up in the one one, he'll get popped out, but can Soto charge and make the play? He will. Runners will stay put at first and second with only one out. Now the batter will be Bryce Harper on the three two. Bryce barely hits that one back to the mound. John Means to first to belts essentially a bunt they'll be on second and third with two outs it's a huge spot for Kyle Schwarber on the one two Schwarber in a deep right field going back on it's Juan Soto can Juan make the play he can't it's off the wall Kyle Schwarber with the two RBI double puts the Phillies up 2-1 with Javier Baez now in the 2-1 hitting one past Austin Martin Angie Pai is gonna have to come up throwing Pahe to the plate he's gonna gun out Kyle Schwarber what a throw by Pahe, but the Phillies take the lead at 2-1. As we go to the top of the fourth, Josh Bell is going to lead off the inning with a walk. That pitch misses up. None gone for Brady House. House going to rifle one in the left field. They're back-to-back -back base runners now for the Nationals on first and second with no outs for Andy Pahe. The 2-2 pitch for Pahe's fly. Deep left field. Veeling going back to the wall. Double's out of here. Andy Pahe puts the Nationals up by two. Again, there's a reason we played him tonight instead of Lane Thomas. It's for that power bat. Pahe's sixth of the season. He hits around 400, 384 feet for the left fielder. And the Nationals now go up 4-2 with Austin Martin out of the play in the 2-1. He'll elevate one to left field. It's a well-hit ball, but straight to Veerling in left. One gone down the inning for Kibar Ruiz. The switch hitting catcher on the 1-2 is going to get popped out on the fastball. At first base is Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber's got it. Two gone down the inning for the top of the order, which means Eric Guevara, the Puerto Rican god on Turnbull's 69th pitch. Hits one hard in the right field, but Bryce Harper is there. We go to the bottom of the fifth. 4-2 is our score. Ramos up first for the Phillies, hitting one to right center field. I mean, I feel like every single ball is being hit in that gap for Philadelphia. Ramos is going to lead up the bottom of the fourth with a double, making way now for the designated hitter and Bryson Stott. On the 1-1 pitch, Stott hits one. Shallow left. Pahe's going to have to come up throwing again. It's going to be a single. Can he gun out Ramos? He, oh my goodness, he got close. But Ramos is going to score. The Phillies get one back. It is now 4-3 with Matt Veerling to the plate on the 1-2, hitting one on the ground. Mookie Betts to his right is going to have to go back to his left to Brady House. House to Bell, can they turn it? They're only gonna get one look at the lead runner in Stotts. Runner on first with one out for the catcher in Merchant. He's gonna hit one to Mookie Betts, but what a play by Mookie. Rafael Merchan is put away. Two gone for Gene Segura. Ball sit on the ground to Mookie Betts. Betts to first to Bell, and the Nats remain at top by one. As we go to the top of the fifth inning, Mookie Betts gonna lead things off on the 2-1 pitch. Betts up the middle, that ball's gonna get through. He will have base hit number two of the day on that pitch up the middle. Juan Soto now comes up on the 2-1. One in the center. That one, though, is gonna hang up just in time. And he goes directly straight to Elliot Ramos. One it gone now for Miguel Sano on the 1-1 pitch. Sano lines one. Perfect, perfect in the left. It's his second base knock of the game. It's a rarity for Sano. They'll be on first and second, and that'll do it for Spencer Turnbull. Enter Francisco Morales, era of 6.67 in the regular season. Over 46 games, not a great year for him. Can we take advantage? Oh my goodness. Bell striking out on the changeup. That'll be two down now in the inning for Brady House on the one, two house in the ground at first. Kyle Schroeder is going to make the play. The Nats get nothing in the top of the fifth as they try to hold on to their one run lead to the bottom of the fifth. Alec Bohm up first, putting one on the ground. Easy play for Brady House. House to first to Josh Bell. One gone now in the inning for Bryce Harper on the two, two count. Harper with a horrible looking swing on the slider away. Means sets him down. Two down now for Kyle Schwarber on the one, one pitch. Schwarber in a right, but straight to one. And Soto means with a good five innings. We'll see if we see him for a sixth. But for now, Angie Pahe is going to come up to get off the top of the sixth. He's going to get struck out on that fastball in on the hands by Morales. One gone for Austin Martin. Same exact pitch, just more inside. Martin's going to barely get a piece of it. It'll be caught at second base by Gene Segura. Two down for the switch hitting catcher, Kibar Ruiz. He'll fly a fastball into foul ground at Bryce Harper going to his left. And Bryce will put him away to the bottom of the sixth. We now go. Means will come out to start the inning. Javier Baez is going to take one deep. That one's going to stay fair. It's out of here. Javier Baez ties this game up at four. It's his 22nd of the year, it goes 382 feet, and the Phillies are gonna have tied this game up at four. Ramos now comes up, we keep Means in for the time being. That's gonna be the, oh my goodness, not gonna be the first out. 
Betts is going to boot it. We'll keep means in now for Bryson Stott. It's a hit and run for Philadelphia, but Stott's going to put that one in the air. It's going to hang up in time for Eric Guevara. So we'll pick up the first out of the inning. That'll do it for John Means. We're bringing in Josiah Gray. I think he's the best righty other than Dovon Loaizka, who we're saving for later in this game. We're bringing in Josiah in relief. I, I mean, I think it's the right move. Veerling's going to fly out on the slider way by Josiah to Juan Soto. Again, we're hoping we can stay at the wild card game. If we have to put the wild card game, I'm just going to pitch to Grom on short notice. So I think we're fine as Josiah's going to get out the inning right there. We go to the top of the seventh. Tied up at four. Leading off for the Nationals will be Eric Guevara. Guevara is going to strike out for the third time in this game on the changeup. One gone for Mookie Betts in the 2-1 pitch. Betts is going to get popped out on the fastball. It will be the center fielder and Ramos there to take it. Two gone now in the inning for the chosen one. Juan Soto on the 1-1, hitting one hard on the ground, but straight to Gene Segura. The Nats have been shut down as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Josiah still pitching. Gene Segura up first in the 3-1, hits a slider into right field, but there is Soto to put him away. One gone now for Alec Bohm. The third baseman comes up on the 1-1. Josiah is going to deal, and he's going to get jammed on the fastball in. Two down for Bryce Harper. On the one two, Harper comes up with two outs, hitting one to center field. Eric Guevara is there to the top of the eighth, still 4 4. Miguel Sano going to leave things off in the one two. Don't know why I chased right there. It will be the first out of the inning now for Josh Bell on the full count. Bell's going to pull one down the line in right field. That ball's up. It's out of here. Josh Bell with the go ahead home run in the top of the eighth. It's going to soar over the head of Bryce Harper, and the Nationals take a one-run lead. It's Bell's 31st of the season, 352 feet. It barely gets over, but it's gone. The Nats go up 5-4 with one out here in the top of the eighth. Brady House now comes up, and he'll proceed to immediately strike out, but two gone for Andy Pahe, and on the 1-2 pitch, Pahe's going to hit one right in front of the dish. There's the catcher and Marchand. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Up by one, Josiah still in the game for Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber blasts the slider in deep right field. We're tied again. Upper tank for Kyle Schwarber doing against his former team. 34th of the year for him, 394 feet off the bat. And just like that, we're tied. Still no outs in the inning for Javier Baez. So he'll hit one up the middle. That one's going to get through as well. All the momentum shifted back in the favor of Philadelphia. Runner on first, no outs for Ramos. Need a double play ball. We'll take that as well. It's going to be a fly out in the right field at 2 1 at Soto. Now to the plate will not be Bryson Stott. They bring in Ramon Urias to pinch hit. Runner going. Oh, straight to Mookie Betts. The hit and run does not go to plan for Philadelphia. The Nats will get two as we go to the top of the ninth, tied at five. Austin Martin leading things off as Morales is still pitching for Philadelphia. That one's grounded right back up the middle. Javier buys the first to Kyle Schwarber. One gone for Key Bear Ruiz in the one-two pitch. Ruiz gonna line one in the right field, but straight to Bryce Harper. Two down for the top of the order, which means Eric Guevara. He's been struggling in this game. He's 0 for 4. This time did Guevara get a hold of it? Deep right field. Oh, Bryce Harper is gonna make the play. I thought Guevara got one. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Camilo Doval needs to try to send us to extra innings. Area 3.64 in the season. Can Doval get us there? Matt Vierling first is going to ground out to Josh Bell. Bell to first. Take it himself. One gone now in the inning for the nine-hole spot, which means the switch and catcher in Marshawn on the 2-2, hitting one hard on the ground. But Brady House is going to collect himself, and he will throw him out. Two down for the top of the order, which means Gene Segura on the 2-2. Slider is going to give him that pop out right back to Camilo Doval. We are going to extras. Let's make way now for the top of the 10th inning. Leading it off the Nats will be Mookie Betts. And need a big spot right here. Betts, though, going to ground to Alec Bohm. One gone now in the inning for the chosen one in Juan Soto on the 3-1 pitch. Morales deals Soto! No doubt in a deep right field. That's why he's the MVP. Soto gets another one. It's a go-ahead shot in the top of the 10th. See you later, Juan Soto. It's 52nd of the year. 380 feet for one. And the Nats go up here in the top of the 10th in this NL East championship game. You could not have asked for a bigger spot out of your MVP in Juan Soto. The Nats go up 6-5. Still one out in the inning for Miguel Sano. He's going to strike out on the 97 mile hour fastball. By the way, Corey Knabel is now pitching for Philadelphia. He's going to strike out Bell as well. But here you go, man. Bottom 10. Can the Nats get the job done? Doval is just out to see Alec Bowman on the 1-2. Come on, Camille. got to make the play right now. Doval to first. He's got it. That's all we need out of Doval in the inning. We now bring in Genesis Cabrera for Harper and Schwarber. 
Here you go, man. Cabrera with the ERA 3.57 in the season. Needs two outs to win this ball game. Harper first in the 3-2. Got him. 99 on the dot for Cabrera. Two gone for Kyle Schwarber on the 2-2. Schwarber's going to pick up hit number three. Hitting one to right field, and he will have extra bases in the process. Tying run at second. Winning run to the plate in the form of Javier Baez. On the 2-2, he's three for four. He'll now be three for five. Striking out on the fastball. Yes, he did. And the Nationals are going to win the NL East for the first time since 2017. It has been eight years since the Nationals have won the division. They've won a World Series and a pennant in between, but they have finally done it. They beat the Philadelphia Phillies here in game 163. Their regular season record will be 96 and 67 as the Nats are now the one seed in the National League and we'll see the winner of the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies in the Miami Marlins wild card game coming at you tomorrow. So we'll see who we're playing. Either the Phillies again, which is going to be an absolute barn burner, or we're going to get a rematch in the LDS from last year against the Miami Marlins. Either way, though, it's going to be a crazy series coming up in just a short few hours. So, folks, thank you all for watching episode number 74 of the Washington Nationals franchise mode here on MLB 22 The Show. If you have not yet, though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you like if you are enjoying the series. Also, make sure to check out both the vlogs posted in the description down below. And also, go make sure follow us on Instagram as well. Real Plays YT. So folks, thank you for watching. And Mamba, forever.